Transmark RPM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories. Today we're gonna to show everybody a new mount, an affordable mount for the Model 3 and the Model Y rotating bracket. Now this of course is a single access bracket. This is not the version made by Tech Forums in Illinois that created this. This is a less expensive version. It's made with very nice quality products, but it does not tilt both ways. It only tilts one way left and right. And uh, there's a new version coming out from Tech Forum, which is going to allow it to pivot two ways. But if you want an inexpensive, simple, this is it. Let's take a look at everything you get. In this box, you're gonna find all these components. First of all, this is the aluminum bracket that's gonna allow your mount to swivel back and forth. Uh, these are the two different temperature uh, sensing units. Uh, where the temperature is sensed for the air conditioning. So this is the original Model 3s, where a small little tip hangs down, it measures the sensor almost like a key in a car. So that's how the original Model 3s were made. This is a cover for it. And this is the Model Y and the new Model 3 version, where the sensor sits in a box and air flows inside. Again, this all has to do with your thermostat inside the car, turning it, the air conditioning on and off. But this is always located in the shade underneath the mount or the swivel mount arm. Uh, next up are the two other bracket pieces. Again, this is a real nice finished product. Everything goes together nicely. It covers it all up. It looks really OEM and it looks real nice. Uh, here's all the tools you're gonna need. And of course, this instructional sheet. Uh, this might not make much sense, but that's why we're filming our own video to show you all of our tricks and all of our simple methods of assembly. Again, this will take you about 30 minutes and uh, it's for the Model 3 and the Model Y. You'll have to choose which one of the temperature sensing covers to use. This is all Model Ys and newer Model 3s. This is Model 3s 2017 through 2020. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna get in the car. We're gonna go step by step and show you how easy this is. Like I said, everything is included. We're simply gonna remove the existing bracket and put this bracket in so it will turn. All right, thanks again, and uh, let's get in the car and get started. Okay, we're in a 2020 Model 3, so obviously we're not going to use the Model Y 2021 version. We're going to use this version, and we've already dismantled the screen, which we're going to show you how to do that earlier in this video, if you haven't seen it already. And uh, just an idea of what we're talking about in terms of the sensor. Now, this is the sensor for the temperature in the cabin, and this is how it mounts on here. So the little sensor hangs down through this hole. We're gonna show you all about that when we put it back together. And this is all part of the bracket assembly. So anyway, we're at this step right here. So now we're gonna continue. And uh, let's continue from right here. So once you have the original bracket and the screen mount off and the cable disconnected, you're simply going to take the plastic assembly and put it in just like this. That goes through this hole and then that bracket goes simply straight up on like that. Okay, after you connect the connector and the sleeve, you're gonna screw in these torques with, I think it's a T20 and tighten this piece of plastic, attaching it to the screen back. Okay, so you wanna make sure you've run the cable through the center of this. And here's a brief overview. We're gonna be taking this mount, sticking it into the OEM dashboard, and then this is gonna be mounted to it, and this is going to turn back and forth like this. Okay, now we're gonna mount the turning bracket to the fixture that's the dashboard fixture using the original bolts. So these are the two long screws or bolts that are gonna mount the new unit right in place. So tighten them up on both sides.
Okay, so torque these screws on real good. An impact. As long as it's nice and strong and you can spin it left and right. And the bracket is secure and not moving. Then you are ready to move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is inserting the plastic housing up the cable route and over the top. And you gotta hook it underneath. So these glass grab underneath on the bottom and on the top. And it just all snaps on. So you shouldn't have any gap here. Fits really nice, really original, same color gray. And now we're going to turn it back to show you how this turns. Okay, and last thing is if you ever want to turn this to tighten it or loosen it, you have to remove this. But they're already preset to make them very solid and sturdy. And it takes a lot of pressure to turn it. So don't loosen the top bolt. This is right where you want it to be. So it never gets any looser and it never turns on you too much on its own. Okay. Now the screen is going to go up. You can see on the back. Now you're going to take the two screws that were here. And we're going to go way down below a super wide angle lens. I'm going to show you how to tighten these up. So we're only putting in four screws after you remove two. And you can see right here will be the second one. Sometimes you got to line it up to catch the thread, hand tighten it, then use the Allen that we give you in the bag. and tighten them okay now the sensor is not on yet but we want you to see how much strength or how much force it takes to turn it back and forth you can do it with one finger each way and this is nice and strong and sturdy and secure and it does not hit the dashboard you can see how close it gets a lot of people have been asking does it touch the answer is no when you come this way all the way for the passenger uh, we call this solitaire mode because this is designed so that your passengers can play solitaire Which uh, everyone says you can do even while you're driving. All right, let's finish up the tent That's a temperature sensor next now And uh, again on the model 3 there's one more opening underneath And uh, we've got two remaining pieces that we'll put over here so these two pieces are going to fill up the cavities and what's left here so it's gonna be a real clean design um, a lot of people like that a lot of people told us they didn't like the shroud they didn't like this they didn't like seeing this uh, it fades over time so anyway uh, we hope that uh, the new version coming out with the dual axle is gonna have a nice cover for the arm as well so uh, You're going to attach, in this case, the Model 3, older Model 3 temperature sensor. Um, if you have a Model Y, you're going to be attaching it to this piece. And that's, this piece will fit in the same location underneath. So again, that's the only difference between the 3, the older 3, and the new Ys, and the new 3s. So these two pieces, again, will not be used with this Model 3 installation.
Okay, so you gotta get it on the back side, get the clip underneath. You can see here what we're doing. It's a little awkward just figuring out which is the goes inside and which goes outside. And those two tabs there are kind of annoying. Once you get it lined up and you slide it in place, you'll be okay. There. Okay, on this last piece, you gotta peel off the double-sided take, exposing all this. We're gonna spin it around for the installation point of view. This goes way up and under. Clips on the back side. Just kind of cleans it up a little bit, hides the uh, wire from being visible. So again, this is a real low angle. And you can see now, it looks like, looks great. They have these two grays matching. It looks really factory, really original. Uh, you can't see anything. There's no wires hanging down. Okay, so once you put the last piece on, it covers up more of the access to the wires and everything. And all you see is this one cable, and that's only if you're way down and under the dashboard. So we want everyone to see how original it looks, how factory it looks. And uh, some still shots, and it uh, looks great. I'm going to show you turning wise 30 degrees of turning all the way back, and it gets right up to it, and it does not touch the dashboard. Okay, any questions? Call us. Um, shouldn't have any issues. Hold the exit, get out of screensaver mode, and you're good to go. Display should look normal, bright. Okay, and now everything's installed. Uh, we've got our website up on the browser. We want to show everybody two products we highly recommend for all Model 3 and Y screens. This one here is our shade cover frame. Now, because of the angle of this, you're going to have more sunlight on top of your screen. So we recommend the installation of our very affordable display shade cover frame. This frame is going to add an inch to an inch and a half of shade to your screen. You simply put it all the way around the back, pull one quarter down, corner down to install it, and it works great. So again, remember that not only does this change the angle allow you to rotate it but it changes the angle and when you change the angle and you push it back 10 degrees you're going to have more sunlight on your screen so this is a great product uh, we also recommend one of our great 9h tempered glass screen protectors um, this is a uh, model 3 glossy that uh, we're going to put this on we're going to take this off and install it before but again the screen protectors are great they really fight fingerprints with the oleophobic coating and again, uh, we've sold thousands of these, and uh, they are the best ones we've been able to find. Uh, thanks again for watching, and again, it's RPM Test Labs and Market Accessories.